All right, and here's where I cut the corner. Of course, this is drywall corner bead. Just use a regular uh, pair of 10 snips to cut it. Uh, we had to buy 10 foot pieces and all I needed was eight. So of course I had to cut two foot off. But anyway, yeah, there's where you cut corners. Hey guys, all right, it came to my attention when I did my name that tool the other day that a lot of you had never seen one of these. I'll tell you what, this is about the best time saver I've ever found right here for installing metal corner bead on your drywall. This basically eliminates the need for any nails or screws to hold your corner bead on which saves you a whole lot of time because anybody who's ever hung this corner bead knows that anytime you drive a screw or a nail into it, if you drive it just a hair too far, you bend it, you end up with a lip sticking out. This tool right here, you set your corner bead up there where you want it. Of course, I've already got this one done. I've already got it mudded and stuff. This video here is kind of an afterthought. But, yeah, I fasten it about, oh, I don't know, in eight or ten places from the top to the bottom. I always start at the top and work my way down. But basically, the way it works is you just put your metal corner bead up against your corner. Get it tight there on the corner. You stick the tool there and one good whack, just one. You don't want to hit it more than once or you're going to mess everything up. And basically what that does, when you hit it, I don't know if I'm in shot there or not, but when you hit it, it pokes these two dimplers out there, and it basically staples the uh, corner bead to itself, or to the wall, with itself. And as you can see, the motion of it kind of pulls it toward the corner there at the same time. So yeah guys, heck of a time saver. It's about a $50 tool right there. And uh, I mean it's probably saved me at least five or six hundred in labor. Just because like I said, it turns what used to be about a 10 minute job into about a 10 or 15 second job. So anyway guys, that's what it is. It's a corner bead setter or a corner bead installation tool or a corner bead crimper whatever you want to call it but uh, basically once you've got your corner bead hung what I do if I can find it here my putty knife what did I do with my putty knife there it is okay basically what you're looking for once you get your corner bead hung so you can see where that uh, here's what that tool does right here it bends it in and kind of pulls this corner tight does it on both sides but yeah it basically staples the corner bead to the wall using the corner bead itself so yeah no need for nails or screws or anything but what I do, I will stick my putty knife there against the wall 
and run it down like this, making sure that I can see light between everything there. Usually, if you're going to have anything touching, it's going to be this edge right here. will stick up a little bit. So if you come to a spot, see if I can find one here. Probably not because I've already checked this one, I believe. See if maybe there's one over here on the other side. Now, like I said, I've already checked all this. But, all right, let's just say for demonstration's sake, this is sticking out, oh, well, let's say right here. Let's say right there, instead of being able to see light through right here, this piece of metal is sticking out and touching the knife right there, which you do not want because that tells you when you spread your mud right here, you're going to have metal showing through right there. And that's not good. You want a good solid mud bed right there. The only place you want to see metal is right here on the corner. Of course, until you paint. But anyway, if you were hitting right here, all you would do is take the tool again, stick it right there where your high spot on the metal is, and smack it again. It'll pull that all in tight toward the wall and you'll be all good and ready for mud. Again guys, this tool here, probably one of the most time saving tools that I've ever used in my life. 50 bucks and well worth every penny. But anyway, y'all have a good one and we'll talk to you later.